Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a roll cage like this. This is uh, game ready, so it's very roller poly, and it doesn't have that strange of joints. The only complaint I would make about these is kind of in this area, but if you want you can clean that up manually. Anyways, what is to be understood about this is that you going to have to make everything like in a wireframe. So I'll show you. I'll just make a basic thing here. So turn that on. I'm gonna make like a door join that. And then for bevels, I usually just do this and then we delete that. Only faces. And this should be good enough. So, first things first, um, when you're trying to make a joint over a corner like this, uh, you're going to want to separate these if they are like 90 degrees. And I'll show you why, actually. Let me duplicate this. So, if I grab this and convert it to a curve, go down here. Open geometry and start. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I right, use depth and set, but you can see it kind of like, yeah, it kind of like pinches at the corner. Um, so, yeah, you don't want to do that, but if you were to say something like this, and then we separate that, just that. Convert that to a curve, join it to here. Now we'll have to go back and fill these manually, but it is not pinched at the corner. So I will just. This is, um,. Sometimes you can get away with this, but since it's not beveled, it's kind of a large angle. I'm just going to separate it as well. So convert those to curves and then join them. Another thing to keep in mind, um, if you wanted to go like really low poly and you have a hexagons or something, uh, this will join up fine here. But like as as we get to more complex shapes, sometimes I don't have any examples on this uh, rig to show you, but sometimes these will get messed up and they'll like twist around. I'm trying to see if I can get it to, yeah. So if it if it twists, it's like kind of hard to connect these together. So I usually go for at least eight sides, but you can do however many you want. So there's that. And then if we convert this to a mesh, we can then just come in here and fill these. And you can round these out more if you want. I usually don't because I don't usually have problems with that. Also, merge by distance to get rid of little corners like this. And then for these, I usually just merge these at the center. And it will kind of offset your line there, but it's hard to notice when it's smooth shaded as long as it's a kind of a smaller curve. So, with all of those gaps filled, if I shade this smooth, it's actually pretty clean. So, there's you can notice a little issue here, but um, it is a, a, a game like type of really optimized way of doing stuff. And I'll show you how many triangles this is. It's only 303. So I don't know if you if you want to like go back and try to perfect this, you can, but I usually don't. I'm sure it would be better on higher resolution for the 
cylinders or the pipes, but that would also make it harder to fill the edges and then it'd be more triangles. So this is usually what I end up with, but yeah, that's just what I wanted to teach you guys. So that's it.